Hello there, how are you? I am doing this little video because today I would like to talk about a very interesting experience that I did and that I truly believe everyone will benefit from. So I did a 30 days information detox. So that means no social media, no TV, no newspaper, no books, no documentaries, like no information. Uh, did I succeed? Very honestly, no. <laughs> I did not succeed to have no information for 30 days because I love information. <laughs> but did I do a drastic effort to completely change my intake of information? Yes. Before diving into what happened during those 30 days, I want to share with you why I wanted to do that. So I wanted to reconnect with my creativity. I felt that something wanted to come through. I really felt that pull to go inside because something wanted to come through me and something came through. So I'm going to talk about that too. And then the second thing was I wanted to stop taking other people's emotions in because, you know, you turn off your phone and then you have the emotion of Susie and Susanna in yourself and they don't even know about it and they don't even care. So it's just like hurting yourself. So these are like really the two main reasons why I wanted to try that. I have already done one week without social media, two weeks without social media this year, and I loved it. And so this time I wanted to go one step further, 30 days without social media, but also without any information. So I deleted everything from my phone on Friday the 13th of November. And on the weekend, I'm not much on my phone anyway, so that was okay. But I realized that I had this habit to look at my phone because every time I look at my phone, I have a notification or a message or a comment or something to respond to. And so you have this habit of wanting to go and check if there's something there for you, like a little Christmas gift waiting for you, <laughs> except it's filled with anxiety. No, I'm joking. But... Yeah, I had that habit of always wanting to look at my phone and um, that turned into me playing solitaire, which is like a cards game on my phone. And so I would just look at my phone, see no notification, still have that desire to find the satisfaction of some sort. I would play cards for one or two minutes, win or lose the game, <laughs> and then turn my phone off. I did that for two, three days, being completely aware that I was just replacing one problem with another, even if it was not information, but entertainment of some sort, you know, point was to use less my phone. And then slowly that went away. And after the first week on Monday, so about 10 days after I stopped um, taking in so much information, I had a screen time notification on the Monday morning saying that my consumption of my phone went down 50%. I went down from 2 hours 40 to 1 hour 18. And the week after that consumption went down 8% and then 50% and now I'm like below 15 minutes a day knowing that in these 15 minutes there are lots of Minutes where I'm actually talking to my friends on WhatsApp video and uh, catching up with my family and everything. That's part of the time that's counted in. What I have discovered during this month is that all the time that I did not spend on my phone, yeah, I had like one hour 30 extra <laughs> since I wasn't on social media and since I wasn't spending so much time on Netflix and on just YouTube videos, I was definitely gaining two hours, two to three hours a day, um, I realized that it allowed me to connect even deeper with the stillness within. 
And why is that important? Because when you connect with your stillness within, this kind of stillness, you connect to the source of all things. And I really found a sort of warm, comforting peace in these moments that is so much more beneficial than learning stuff or talking to people or wasting time scrolling on social media. And I needed that stillness. I needed that peace. And it also helped me realize that I had some unprocessed emotions. Sometimes I would, you know, have relationship issues like we all do. And I thought I would have dealt with it. And then I would sit in my meditation, sit in my silence, whether it's just lying on the couch or actually on my meditation cushion. And suddenly in that stillness, all these emotions would come up. When you sit in that stillness, you access the source of all things. So you access new kind of information that suddenly you are receptive to and before you weren't receptive because you were busy. I also had amazing ideas in these moments of stillness. I suddenly had the idea of I'm going to write a new book and when I said at the beginning of this video that I felt something wanted to come through me but I didn't know what it was, I had no idea it would be a book. Yes, I already wrote a book and I love writing and I journal every day, but I didn't know I would be writing another book. And I really checked in with myself. How does that feel? Is it my ego? Is it really my soul? Am I excited? Does this come from a place of neediness or longing? And I felt so much excitement around writing this book and spending time being creative behind my laptop that I just started writing, but very like intuitively, without agenda, without structure, just writing things. And suddenly um, it started taking a lot of my time. I knew what I wanted to talk about. I will talk about that book later on. Um, it's a beautiful topic that's very dear to my heart and that I believe we are all shifting into and we all need today. Um, but it's really helped me connect with that idea that wanted to come through. When you create space in your life, when you create silence, when you take things away, you allow other things to come through. And I have allowed that. And the way I feel now compared to a month ago is very different because I feel much more in my power, in my sovereignty, in control of what I'm consuming, because you become what you consume, whether it's food or information. And I feel much more at peace. It's cheesy, <laughs> but it's really what it is. So, I think this video is long enough, but you got the main message. 30 days information detox is going to be difficult the first three days because you're going to be detoxifying your body from the dopamine shot that your phone gives you every time you have a message. But you're going to create space in your life for something much better. Reconnecting with your intuition, reconnecting with your creativity, reconnecting with that space of tranquility and peace within yourself. And that's worth everything. So let me know if you have any other question, if you want any support for that. And I'll see you in another video. Bye!